lesson is analytic geometry. Chapter 1 Basic Concepts. Remember last time I said that? This time we'll prove the Helen's formula, which is used for calculating the area of the triangle. And we'll prove it by the Pythagoras theorem. Also called the Pythagorean theorem. For calculating the area of a triangle, we can use the We can use the half base time height. Which is actually the most common way, right? Yes. So here, right now we can have a random triangle. Yep. Like this? Is it alright? Yes. Correct? Correct. So here we split it into two right angle triangle, right? Yep. But remember, it can be any type of triangle. Okay? Yes. Then what can you have? Can we let BDB X? Yes, I write your D properly. So here will be? Here will be? There will be. A minus X, right? Okay. Then what do you have? Okay, here it is a common height. Am I right? Right. So for this common height, first, we can use that height, use the Pythagoras theorem to find it, right? Correct. Is it like this? Yes. Then to find out, here we can use these two, right? Yep. Because they are all calculating one height. And it's the same, right? So we don't care. So here what do we have? I thought this. I thought A. Why is it A? A is down here. Because I put this opposite, right? Okay. Then what do you have? Like this, is it right? Yep. Okay, so can we both sides square? Can we? We can. So here will be the. So there will be the. Here we can expand, right? Yes. These two can cancel. Yep. This is it right? Yep. So here we found X. Correct? Correct. Second, we can find H. Can we? We could, of course. And of course, yes.
Like this, is it correct? Awesome. Perfect. For this, we start with it, right? Okay. And don't forget your like this. Bracket. We can common denominator. Yep. Common denominator. Actually, I put this outside. you did a common denominator. You just put the two a outside. First, we need a common denominator. But if you don't, it's also okay. Like this? Is this edge? Yes, and remember a square minus b square. Okay, you didn't. First, in this area part, what you saw? Okay, here you can a square minus b square, okay? You can. Yes. Oh, I actually just put it in here, right? And it can cancel? Yes. Half times half is? Half times half is one quarter. One quarter than what you have? One quarter than we will have. Like this? Yes. So here what you have? Okay, remember okay. this is we can put this as the a square minus b square that formula. Yep. So would it be like this? Okay. And well, wait, 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 wait. You mean the squares on the outside? Yes, that's more like it. Why didn't still a minus? Why you mean a? That part is a minus. Okay? Okay, good. You have completed this part. Let me continue. So, next for this, something fishy is going on. Did you realize what's going on? A square minus B square. Congratulations, a squared minus b squared, right? And here's the a squared minus b squared, right? Yep. 
So first try this part. I sensed something fishy. Again. Yes. Now we'll put the one over four into the square root. So it will become one over two. After that, make every single one of these over the one over two, right? Yeah. Do you want to see some magic? Of course, I already know it. Okay, then tell me, what's the magical part? Wait, before that, I need to write down something. Okay, so you have that S minus A, right? Okay, you also have that. Okay, so you have these, right? Yep. Put this in to wow, 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 wow. So here. When this comes in, it will become an over 6 step, right? You give each of these two. So, every one of them... Eh, something magical happened again. You notice something? This, you know, they actually the same as... This. So then... So that means these two same. This and this same. These two same. Last but not least, this is the guy who is on up there. Yes, exactly. And wait, hey, we can put it in. Yes. So, that is the last step to our group. We finally got to the last step, which is the answer. Okay, so did you realize that it's actually just like this? Yes. So now do you, how, do you know how to prove this? Yeah. So you see, we have three steps, right? Yep. First step. Because of this common height, we can find, and also using the Pythagoras theorem, we can find x, right? Correct. Which we actually write down the equation, right? Yep. Then for the second step, we can find what is the height, right? Yes. How about the third step? Third step, of course, is for the area. Definitely. For this area, half. Base times height. Am I right? It's yeah. one thing that we learned before, right? Which is actually the basic way to the basic way to calculate the area of the triangle, right? Yes. Then what do you have? Stuff that you can submit the edge, which is actually the height, right? After you start in the height, you actually can a square minus b square, right? Uh, and after that, we have a lot of other like factorizations, right? Yes, we. From here, we just keep factorizing. Factorize, factorize.
Okay. See you in the next lesson. We'll have all the fun over again. Okay, so can we end our lesson over here? Yep. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you so much.